Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to the military. Today's topic, chow. So personally, I know that before I joined the military, when I thought of chow, I thought of like, like prison food. Cause anyone I ever talked to is always like, oh, chow, chow's disgusting. Ugh, I can't stand chow, ugh, gross. It's just like free garbage gobbledygook food. But now after being in the military for well, only only six months, about. Um, I feel like I can I can give a, a nice overview and a nice good opinion on what I believe Chow uh, really is. Personally, I think Chow is, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it, it varies depending on where you are. Like at BMT, the Chow was, Chow was good. It wasn't very uh, varied, it was, very similar food every day, but, but you know, you go to different bases, go to different squadrons. They got, they all got their own dining facility. They all got their own menus. They serve different foods. Some of them serve desserts. Some of them don't like at BMT, there were no desserts, but here at the, uh, at my current squadron, oh, they, they got desserts. So I took the, the liberty of doing you guys all a solid and I actually filmed a few meals that I had over the past couple weeks. Just, you know, a few little snippets of what kind of food to expect from from Chow. Obviously, you know, like I said, it's different depending on where you're at, but I'll go play those Chow clips for you now. Good. This is a big lunch, I just realized. So breakfast chow is almost always going to be scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs, fruit, varied fruits. Um, they will have oatmeal. Sometimes they have grits, as long as they got grits. And they will also have either regular potatoes or sweet potatoes. They will always have bacon. And sometimes they will have pancakes or French toast, one or the other. Sometimes both, but always one or the other. Now, I know everyone's got their own opinions about chow, but uh, as, a, as a fresh airman who's only been eating it for so long so far, I can't complain. I mean, not some days it's tastier than others. Some days it's absolute um, dog water, but I can't complain. It's free food, you know? Free food is free food. And especially when you're training or in training, you know, whatever whatever you're doing in the military, you need fuel and chow really does give you pretty much everything you need. It gives you your veggies, your fruits, your fats, your proteins, your carbs, whatever else. I don't know, whatever, you know, you'll, you know, food classes, I don't know, nutrition stuff. It gives you everything. You can find whatever you need at chow. Anyway, so, Leave any co questions, comments. Um, that's my that's my chow briefing. Hopefully that helped anyone who's thinking of joining or about to join or just curious about chow because I hey I don't know maybe some people are curious about chow. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the military. I will see you guys. Well, you'll see me in the next one.